This 50-foot tall cowboy named Chester has been waving the crowds in from Western Avenue for more than 50 years now. He's the mascot of South Oklahoma City's landmark Winchester Drive-In, one of the last of a handful of drive-in theaters left in our state. Owned for decades by the Shanbor family, the Winchester is now operated by Jeff Massett. Don't even talk about that. The labor of love. It kind of gets in your blood. Uh, you, you, as we sit in the box office and people thank us over and over and over for doing it and keeping it open. The sound doesn't come from those little squawky boxes anymore, but through your own car speakers. The rest of the experience, though, is pretty much the same as it was in the 50s when this drive-in was born. As always, you don't have to stay in your car, and most people don't. Pickup trucks are the biggest thing. We fill up with trucks first. They always, so you can see the yellow poles and the red poles. Those are for the back rows of pickup trucks and high SUVs. They'll pop up an SUV, they'll throw blankets. Uh, everybody has a blow up mattress, it seems like, that comes here. Pillows and blankets. I think this will be my third time, I'm, and I'm really excited. I, I love the idea of getting out and just the experience of it is really fun. Chris Geisler went to the drive-in only once as a kid, but is excited to pass on the experience to his family. Well, I didn't know until maybe not even a year ago that we had a drive-in. You know, I didn't even know that was a thing anymore, and so I think it's great. Have you been to a drive-in before? Yeah, no. I have. I have. I went here with my dad once. You can pay $20 and bring in your own food or head to the concession stand where the Winchester hopes you will be pleasantly surprised by the prices. We pride ourselves on concession stand prices and being less than most theaters, so. I think it's, it's uh, cheaper than the, the movie theaters are, I feel like, and it's just a different type of experience. It's a lot of fun. And the kids seem to agree. For them, it's a fun new twist on seeing a movie. I think it's going to be funner than a movie theater. Because you hear Cause people outside. screaming in a movie theater. I think it's pretty cool, you know. Mm -hmm. We're family out here. Friends, you know. Yeah. But I wouldn't mind coming here because it's kind of cool. But back then they would do that too. Grandparents who remember plenty of nights at the drive-in themselves hope it's something kids will continue to enjoy. It was just something fun that we got to do. And now there aren't hardly any left, so just we just uh, were excited that we found this one and got to come down and enjoy. Who knows how long this is going to be around? I mean, this might not be around too much longer. Wait, I mean, who knows? When her, when she had, decides to have kids, she might not. Yeah. This might not be around to experience. I think that people, uh, especially in Oklahoma, that have been used to this for 52 years, uh, don't want it to go away. And so, you know, they enjoy just seeing the stars, hearing the birds, watching the the clouds go by and the movie. And it's a, as you can see, it's a giant screen and we have Dolby Digital Sound and we have digital video. So it's a pretty good experience for a really nice price. For Discover Oklahoma, I'm Jennifer Reynolds.